If you watched our video on the different types of ML algorithms, you should remember that supervised learning refers to the machine learning algorithms that learn from labeled data. This means you provide the algorithms with the right answers from which they should learn. For instance, the Titanic dataset contains the demographic and other information about each passenger, as well as whether one died or not. If we decide to train a machine learning algorithm that would predict if the person died or not, given his demographics, we should refer to the supervised models. That's because we have in our dataset the correct pairs from which the model can learn. Let's first understand how it would work at a high level. David has the following characteristics and survived the accident. Nick has different characteristics and did not survive the accident. Imagine 100 other people have very similar characteristics to David and the other 100 are very similar to Nick. A new passenger comes to the board. If his characteristics are similar to David's group, then we can say that he will probably survive. As long as the characteristics become more similar to Nick's group, the probability that the new passenger would survive becomes less. At some point, we would say that the new passenger would not survive the accident. That is the high-level idea of how supervised learning algorithms work. Let's see how they work at a low level. Passenger class, age, and gender are the characteristics of each passenger, or the input. Survived variable is the output. One is equivalent to survived, and zero to not survived. The goal is to construct a model that takes the three features as input and provides a number between 0 and 1 as output. A number higher than 0.5 would be assigned to survived, and a number lower than 0.5 would be assigned to not survived. Note that the threshold is subject to change. It can be any number in the range from 0 to 1. Logically, each input feature would have its own effect on the output. By multiplying the input values with their corresponding weights, the model scales the importance of each feature. Those weights contain the knowledge that is extracted from the dataset. Weights are the most important part of AI models. They are often protected with copyrights. This is a simple logistic regression model. Inputs are multiplied with their corresponding weights. They are then summed up. A logistic function squeezes those numbers into a scale of 0 to 1. A threshold is then applied to produce a prediction. But you can't just guess those weights, they should be trained. The training process happens as follows. Weights are initialized randomly as small numbers. The model predicts all the observations in the training data set. An error is calculated based on the mispredictions. Say, with random weights, you predicted 60 wrong from 100. Then, an optimization algorithm, say gradient descent, calculates the gradient of the error function with respect to the weights. The weights are updated in the opposite direction of the gradient. In simple words, the algorithm updates the weights in the direction that will decrease the error. In each iteration, the number of wrong predictions is decreased because the algorithm finds those weights that make the model predict the most correct answers in the dataset. The evaluation of a supervised algorithm is the easiest, as we just compare the predicted labels with the true labels from the original dataset. If you want to learn more about artificial intelligence, subscribe to our channel to be aware of the new videos. Press the like button and let's discuss AI in the comments section.